closer to the camera. Hi, everybody. This is Kathy L. Murphy. The Pulpa Queen Mama Cats Book Club is today here at Art on the Bayou Gallery. And I have this wonderful children's author and musical artist with us. And Leslie, say... Tiharina. Tiharina. I've got Tiharina, Tiharina, like Valerina. Right. And she's going to be doing a story time for us. So I'm going to come back over here and film her while we're doing a simultaneous Facebook and Zoom. So I'm going to hand the program over to you. Live Zoom and Facebook. Oh my goodness. How are you doing today? I got a cutie right there. And I'm so excited. And Leslie is my given name and my maiden name was Monogold and I'm from Marshall, Texas. Love East Texas. And all right, we're just so excited. So many years ago, my husband, whose name is George, was from South Texas and they call that the Rio Grande Valley. And they're very famous for growing fruits and vegetables and watermelons. So he told me a story about his life, and I've always loved it, that seeds were important in his life. So I'm going to read the book first, and hopefully it'll bring a smile to your face. <laughs> and um, then we'll sing a song about the book that went with it, about the seeds, and um, you'll understand how the song and the uh, book got written. So this is awesome. Seeds is the name of the book. And when you purchase the book, you get a package of seeds with the book so that you can understand how you can be involved in planting seeds. See the watermelon seeds right there? <laughs> All right. Someone else is gonna turn the pages and I'm gonna be reading and I'm very excited. Seeds by George and Anne Leslie T. Harina. Watermelons start with seeds. Watermelons are grown from seeds in the Rio Grande Valley of South Texas. When George, whom they nicknamed Choche, was a young boy, he worked each summer in the watermelon fields. One summer, he was waiting for the truck to return so that he and his younger brothers could reload watermelons. And he saw a big red striped tent. People were singing about God's love. He joined them and sat in the shade and sipped cool lemonade. He listened and he rested under the tent from the hot sun. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, is what the children were singing. He had been to church, but this was the first time a seed was planted. Choche listened more. Those seeds of God's love that were planted that summer began growing in his life. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves Choche. The Bible, and Jesus said in the Bible, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field, which is indeed the least of all the seeds. But when it grows, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and rest in its branches. And that little one is listening. And that comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 31 and 32. So I am so happy and thankful. At the back, I said, thank you, George, for sharing how God touched your life and glad you shared your story so I, your wife, could share it with other people. Thank you, God, for inspiring the seeds through the world that you created. <sighs> I was helped by printing with wise spelling out of Houston, Texas, and I appreciate them greatly. The Bible is the best-selling book, but you can check your local library and any of the great book clubs like Mama Cats for other great songs about seeds, songs and books about seeds. So I have 
the song itself and we have a bigger version right down in front of us so you can see the words from the page or the big poster take a snapshot of it and you can sing this song with me later if you want to repost and replan when to do that so this is how this song goes and i love it thank you Seed, seeds, oh yes, seeds, let's just plant some seeds. Tiny little starters grow into mighty trees. Pretty flowers, purple peas, golden corn, green beans, red tomatoes, orange carrots, yellow lemons, yummy melons. We plant the seed, we water the seed, we watch the seed grow. Whoa, look at that big tree. Wow. Seeds, 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 seeds. Let's just plant some seeds. Seeds, 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 seeds. We're going to plant some seeds. And I hope you do plant some seeds this summer, this fall, and some of them will turn into yummy things like watermelons. Oh, yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> Yay. Contact me on Ann Leslie Music. There's a hyphen in there, Ann Leslie Music. Get some other songs that you might enjoy. I'm writing some more books, Miss Kathy, and some more songs. God Yay. bless y'all. And we're going to be serving some watermelon now. Do you think this one Get a bite. <laughs> Thank you, Ann Leslie. Thank you so much, Miss Kathy. God put us together. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Well, I'm going to turn off this and now I'm going to come over here. And as she's getting everything ready for our little watermelon feast, I want to thank you for joining this first ever live Mommy Mama Cats book club from um, Art on the Bayou Gallery. We're having a wonderful time here. It's a hot summer day, so there's nothing better than ice cold watermelon. And thank you, Ann Leslie. Thank and you. we hope to, uh, her website is, come here and tell us what your website is. Well, presently I'm working off my Facebook. So okay. it'll be okay. Ann hyphen Leslie music. Um, I can be contacted by A-L-T-H-E-R-I-N-A, T-I-J-E-R-I-N-A, two. <laughs> at gmail.com and everybody that came today is going to um get a copy of seeds and she's going to autograph it too yeah. so a wonderful way to start your children's library is coming to mama cat's book club thank you so much and order them from may gmail or the endless the music there you go thank you. bye everybody till next time it's all about the story yay if i can get to the end Ha, 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 ha.